this Valentine's Day. Let Romeo drink the Kool-Aid, Jack swim with the fishes, and Joaquin Phoenix bust the deport on his chat GPT. Cause there's only one love story that's actually as tragic as advertised. I wish I knew how to quit you. Brokeback Mountain. Revisit a film about the magic of finding a partner in a cold, cruel world. Sometimes I miss you so much I can hardly stand it. And the tragedy of giving that up because of society's hatred. If you can't fix it, Jack, you got a standard. That contrasts the unstoppable forces of nature with our overwhelming desire to love and be loved. <laughs> but yeah, it's the gay cowboy movie, right? <laughs> Gross. Two dudes spooning? Ew. <laughs> Meet Jack Twist. When it comes to being a loser, it's literally not his first rodeo. <laughs> but Jake Gyllenhaal's sad puppy eyes will make it easy to fall in love with him, even when he's dressed like Jay Leno. Nice to meet you, partner. Have uh, you ever been to Brokeback? You uh, you want to go camping? Huh? He's will be hawed when Jack works the summer with Ennis Del Mar, a man of few words, mm. but many grumbles. One curve in the road in 43 miles, and they miss it. Alma and me will we'll be getting married when I come down off this mountain. Making a living is about all I got time for now. Mom used to sleep in 20 minutes, you know. You don't get stomped winning it, huh? What? Together, they'll herd a flock up to the Canadian part of Wyoming for every guy's dream vacation. Smoke in, drink in, kiss in, whittling, camp in, kiss in. Hunting, fighting, and more kissing. Yeah, these two really need Jesus. Not because they're gay, because they're really bad shepherds. Maybe I'll shoot one of the sheep. It's too late, you all in the sheep. Some of these never went up there with you. County, what I'd hope for, neither. My second year up here. Last summer I had goddamn near 25% loss. I don't want that again. Well, what are we supposed to do now, huh? Get on in there and untangle them Chilean sheep out of ours, I guess. After their magical summer ends, the real bummer begins as Jack covers his tracks worse than Bigfoot at a rave. Husbands don't never seem to want to dance with their wives. While Ennis compensates so hard, he instantly spawns three kids, one of whom's only four years younger. Now that's straight. As both men put the front in frontier with women who range from clueless. Carl's nice. He even talks. To pretty sure what's going on. We were certain sheep. Broke back. To so deep in denial, a team of horses couldn't pull them out. And I tied a note to the end of the line, and then you come back. I said you caught a bunch of browns and you ate them up. I looked in that case first chance I got, and there was my note still tied there. Wow, you really cracked the case, Alma. What tipped you off? This? Featuring equally powerful performances by Michelle Williams in the first but not last time she'd be the odd woman out in a love triangle, and Anne Hathaway as Loreen, a King of the Hill character who somehow escaped Fox's animation lineup and entered our world. As you tried, Del, I was capifying myself. Dang it, Loreen, if two men going to third base on a fishing trip is wrong, then I don't want to be right. So revisit a film criticized on release for showcasing a gay relationship that would get criticized today for starring two straight guys that nonetheless remains one of the most influential films of the century because it's a poignant tragic romance that taught us important lessons about universal love and because it lost the Oscar to the worst racial allegory since Soul Man. I'd like you to meet my good friend Kareem Abdul Ali. And the Oscar goes to Crash. <laughs> Are you sure? Can you check the card again? Maybe it says Moonlight. Starring the most nerd cred gathered in one place since Avengers Endgame. Mysterio, the Joker, Catwoman, Venom's girlfriend, Hawkeye's wife, Sue Storm, Chief Hopper, the director of The Hulk, and the guy who yells, hello boys, I'm back, in Independence Day. Ernest bros to camp. If you plan on seducing your camping buddy, maybe bring some food other than beans next time. No more beans. Hey, I get down here hungry as hell and all I find is beans. Yeah, I'm sick of beans. Too early in the summer to be sick of beans. Beans about all we got left. 
You know it smelled crazy in there. Just quit your hammering and get in here. Oh. No thanks, I'll freeze. Hey, Screen Junkies, don't forget the most important holiday of the year tomorrow, Madam Web Release Day. Since we both love researching spiders, we had every live-action Spider-Man villain go head-to-head -head in every villainous category in an all-new episode of By the Numbers. Click the box on the right to watch now. I wish I knew how to quit you. Now you take this home, throw it in a pot, add some broth, a potato. Baby, you got a stew going. Red Solo Cup, I fill you up. Let's have a party. All glory to the Hypno Toad.